Hi everyone, Jay Baba. Um, my name is Belinda Rosa. Uh, some of you out there might know me as Dee Dee. Uh, I'm doing a testimonial video for Liberty Aid Academy and Jack McKaig, John McKaig. Uh, so this is the trust I operate. There's another cover sheet and these are all the pages. My notarized signature and here is the trust EIN this is my latest statement on the trust I operate okay this is a title to one of the vehicles that the trust owns, and this is the actual um, insurance there. Okay, there's my uh, judgment for the person uh, was being sued by Portfolio Recovery Associates. And there's the law firm. I countersued. This was during the shutdown. It was just so much time that drug on because they were open, then they closed, they were open, then they were more closed than they were open, but that's the order from the judge. And... I removed uh, 2000 from the person's credit report. Okay, guys, this is an important document that is the deed of release where the mortgage company recognizes that um, the address, trust property, is under a deed of trust and basically uh, giving them all rights and giving the owner of the trust all rights and uh, power and release of lien. Basically, that's what they do when, um, always remember when you pay something off, uh, you don't just get a receipt when it comes to a house. They, they got to give you a release or else they can just come back and say that you owe them, you know, illegally as they always do. Um, and let me get to my final document. Okay, y'all, this is the court document for... It is the uh, trust property tax exemption. I have been going through this since right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, 2019, 2020, and 2021. Um, in 2022, they said that I didn't fill the form out completely, and then the time lapsed, and um, I couldn't apply for it that year. Even though I applied it, I filled it out the same way I've always filled it out. Um, anyway... It's been a real drawn out process because from day one, they've been blocking me and forcing me to worship Satan. This is the order granting the defendant's motion to dismiss. And really, the judge, uh, you can read right there, snapshot it and read what it says. But basically, he didn't say anything, even though it's on the court that on the court document that I just showed you that I didn't fill out certain things timely. That was all not true. It was just not true. And this is just uh, during the shutdown, they were making things so hard because one day they were shut down, the next day they were closed. And this just went on for, for you know, a year, a year and a half. But this is really all that the judge said to me was, um, oops. Even if he wanted to, uh, you know, examine or make uh, some type of 
the way he said it was basically, I don't have jurisdiction here. I wish I could help you, but I can't. And it's right there. Dismissed without prejudice, subject matter, jurisdiction, lack of jurisdiction. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I'll give y'all an update. And I got one more thing to show you guys. It's like a little bonus. So, okay. So this is the last and final thing on the testimonial. And I really just want you guys to be aware of what you're up against um, with these, with these criminals, but this is one of those ads that, you know, whenever you're listening to YouTube or watching videos, whatever it is, and these ads pop up and they just happen to be a local ad, you know, those, they'll kind of shout out your, your county and they say, Hey, do you want to train how to take a, um, a tax leaned home in your county? And, you know, so, and this guy who's sitting right here, the guy says, oh, you know, are you sitting around wondering how you can make your life better? And then they show this guy like he's really sitting there thinking, how can I make my life better? This guy is part of the building commission in Austin. Uh, when my house burned down, they are trying to steal the trust property. And when I went up against the building commission, you know, they, you walk in and it's like, uh, well, I, we couldn't walk in. It was like the COVID shutdown. It was on Zoom. But they literally sit and this, they had this guy on a big screen TV. Like, I'm watching them inside this place that they were at, but they had him on a TV the first time and then the second time he was actually sitting with them. I recognized him, but he is the one who told the building commission to lean against the property and uh, to start looking for investors, meaning they wanted to give it to investors. They have this guy on this ad on the building commission taking homes. He's in... I've ran across this when I'm peeling these layers back to do the testimonial and I'm running into all this stuff. I ran into this and I remember I snapshotted it because these guys, whatever they're advertising to take uh, tax leaned homes in the county, this guy is actively working in the building commission to take people's homes and he is working with investors. So, I found that and I stumbled over it and I was just like, I don't even know what to do with it, to be honest. But these are the criminals that are involved with stealing people's properties and giving them to the investors. They're, they're actually in bed with each other. So it's pretty evil. Anyway, I hope my testimony can help you guys. And if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment and I'll get to you. Okay, so I'm going to go through this because I know I'm going to have a question or two about this. This is the original trust I signed in February of 2017 with Liberty Aid Academy. And at the time, he just started calling it the Bulletproof Trust. This document, the next day after the fire, I didn't have a phone or any technology. All that was destroyed. And the next day when we walked out to the property, I told the co-trustee who was just probing the yard, um, let's see what I pull out of this mountain of rubble. And he was like, go ahead, just pull out something. Don't stick your hand in there because you might cut yourself. You don't know what's in there. And I said, no, I'm just going to pull out something from the top. This was a flat piece object that was just charred. It It literally looked like the bottom of a barbecue pit. Um, I opened it and there it was. Um, this document was by the altar where the fire happened, which was obviously an act of God. Um, everything burned and destroyed because the fire happened in the bedroom I slept in. I lost everything, every single thing except the papers that were 
right next to the candle where the fire started. This survived. The document, the trust, the uh, Secretary of State original paperwork, the original EIN, and all the documents that the Texas Banking Department or Commission sent uh, to me about the trust. So I thought that was pretty amazing. And, um, and all you uh, thieves and liars that are stealing the bulletproof trust, we don't we don't use that anymore so you can it's called the fireproof trust i love you Mirababa. i'm done with the testimonial video for now i'm sure that i have missed a ton of things because of the years that i've been into to the work and with liberty aid academy and jack and it's just like i said peeling back all this stuff um it there's a lot more to unfold and i'll probably have to do another video soon but for now i just wanted to invite you guys to my channel there is a video where there was an accident at the trust property i was called out there in the middle of the night um because nobody lives there because of the fire um but you will actually see like a monster truck on top of a car completely tilted over but never fell over the fence. It was a strange phenomenon because it never crossed the trust property. It's right there at the driveway where the sidewalk is. But that truck just, did, it was on the line and just never crossed the fence. And it literally looks like a finger is holding up the truck from crossing over. And we just, when we saw that, it was just crazy. Even the cops were like, they hung out there, they took pictures, they did the report, and they just were like, there was more cops coming, like they were inviting each other to come look because it was just so strange um, what happened there. So that's on my channel, you can go check that out. But um, this is all for now, and uh, thank you guys for your time, and God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Jee Baba.